Elon Musk's brain implant organization Neuralink is his foray into the experimental medical industry known as brain-computer interface or BCI. Massive progress has been made in the field of BCI, the brain-computer interface, in the six years since Neuralink's inception. Some of this is due to Neuralink's work implanting devices into pigs and monkeys, including the now-famous monkey who can play Pong with his thoughts alone. The brain chip startup of billionaire entrepreneur Elon Musk is preparing to begin human clinical trials. Musk co-founded Neuralink in 2016 and stated that the technology will allow someone with paralysis to use his smartphone with their mind faster than someone using thumbs. Today, we are showing you everything you need to know about the brain implant. Here we begin. When Neuralink was founded in 2016, there was much fanfare and media attention surrounding the company. Elon Musk was planning to implant implants in people's brains that would cure all diseases, make you smarter, allow you to control a computer with your brain, and even interfere with artificial intelligence to create a human-machine hybrid super being. It was all a little out of the ordinary, but Elon is like that. He lacks a filter, so he says whatever wild, fantastical things come to mind, and the media covers it. So while Elon Musk did not invent the brain-computer interface, it has existed for quite some time. The only problem is that between 2016 and the mid-1990s, there was virtually no progress in improving BCI methodology and implementation. So Neuralink is a modern approach to an existing technology that accomplishes the same thing Tesla did for the automotive industry. They did not invent the electric car, but they packaged it into a product that performed admirably and solved a flaw in the previous design. The brain-computer interface concept is straightforward. By sending specific electrical signals through your nerves and into your organs or muscles, your brain can control the rest of your body. In the body, those electric pulses are analogous to programming language. Your brain sends commands to your body via your spinal cord, but this connection can be severed by a physical injury or a degenerative disease. As a result, BCI can serve as a bridge for those electric signals, allowing them to bypass the broken connection. Existing BCI technology is divided into two categories, invasive and non-invasive. You've probably seen non-invasive BCIS. It appears to be a strange hat covered in electrode sensors. This can read electrical signals from the brain but not very well. This is because an entire skull exists between the sensors and the neurons. This is where things became gruesome, and another startup triumphed over Neuralink. The FDA has yet to approve Elon Musk's Neuralink brain computing startup to implant its technology in humans. However, Neuralink's competitor, Synchron, has implanted its first device into a patient's brain in the United States, this time an ALS patient. This neurodegenerative disease has hampered the patient's ability to move and speak. The goal is for the patient to be able to think and browse the web as well as communicate via email and text. The device would translate the patient's thoughts into action by sending commands to a computer. In Australia, Synchron's devices had already been implanted in four patients. According to Bloomberg, these patients had no side effects and the device allowed them to send WhatsApp messages and make online purchases. In July 2021, Synchron received FDA approval to begin a human trial of its Stentrode device in the brains of six patients. The Stentrode can be inserted into the patient's brain without damaging the patient's skull or tissue. Instead, a doctor first makes an incision in the patient's neck. The Stentrode is then inserted into a blood vessel within the motor cortex which is involved in the planning, controlling, and execution of voluntary movements using a catheter. After the device has been implanted, a second procedure connects it to a computing device implanted in the patient's chest. The stentrode reads the signal produced by neurons firing in the brain and sends it to the computing device, which then sends it to a computer or phone via Bluetooth. Meanwhile, Neuralink is working on a surgical robot to implant its small, disc-shaped device into a patient's brain. The device would then process and filter signals on the embedded computer chips. While the human trial of the device in the United States is a first for Synchron, it is not a first in the field. The Utah Array, a microelectrode array technology that's small, silicone square with 100 needles that are pushed into the brain when implanted, has been the standard for relaying electrical signals from the brain to a computer since its development in 1992 by researchers at the University of Utah. Until last year, it was the only FDA-approved BCI or brain-computer interface, and it had shown significant results such as allowing paraplegics to control robot arms. The array, however, is based on 1990s technology and can only cover a fraction of the brain's 86 billion neurons. Musk founded Neuralink in 2016, intending to develop a device that, once implanted in the human brain, would enable a computer to translate a person's thoughts into action. In addition, 
He aspires to treat as well as cure brain diseases and disorders. So despite Musk's lofty ambitions, the Neuralink system has yet to be put to the test on humans. Neuralink is working extremely hard to ensure implant safety. It is in close communication with the FDA, Musk tweeted in February 2021. If everything goes as planned, we may be able to start preliminary human trials later this year. Human trials have yet to be conducted by Neuralink. Fortune has previously covered Neuralink, including management changes and employee conflict. For example, Synchron's former president and biomedical engineer, Max Hodak, resigned abruptly and is now an investor in the company. Furthermore, people accused them of being cruel to animals, which landed them their biggest competitor. So what is Neuralink's fate? In a statement on its website, Neuralink explained why it was testing new technology on animals. It's worth noting that these accusations come from people who are against using animals in research. Before being tested on humans, all new medical devices and treatments must be tested on animals. Neuralink is not unique in this regard. The company is also committed to treating animals in the most humane and ethical manner possible. According to reports, between 2017 and 2020, a series of experiments were carried out on macaque monkeys, causing the animals extreme suffering. So, yes, Elon Musk and Neuralink's team tested their product on a monkey without harming the animal. In the video they released showed a monkey playing a mind-controlled video game. According to experts, Pager, the macaque monkey, was also taught to play the video game using a joystick and was rewarded with a fruit smoothie. During this process, the Neuralink device recorded information about which neurons were firing to control which movements. The monkey was left to control the game solely with its mind after the joystick was disconnected. Mr. Musk's reaction to the experiment was predictable. First, he tweeted, The first Neuralink product will allow someone with paralysis to use a smartphone with their mind faster than someone using thumbs. The next step, he said, would be allowing paraplegics, for example, to walk again. Returning to the subject of monkey cruelty, one monkey mutilated its fingers, while another developed skin infection as a result of holes drilled in its skull. Another monkey was found vomiting, retching, and gasping before collapsing from exhaustion or fatigue and being euthanized. Finally, according to CNN, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine, which filed a complaint about the alleged cruelty, claimed that UC Davis received $1.5 million in funding from Neuralink. Neuralink stated in a statement clarifying the procedures that no animals were harmed or injured while being housed at UC Davis for the tests. Only monkeys, healthy enough for one anesthetic event but may not have the proper quality of life due to pre-existing condition, were humanely euthanized according to the company. Oxley is the CEO and founder of Synchron, a company that's working on developing a brain-computer interface or PCI. These devices operate by intercepting brain signals and converting them into commands that cause a movement such as the movement of a robotic arm or a cursor on a screen. The implant basically acts as a link between the mind and the computer. Oxley's firm is attempting to do good stuff. The first patient in the United States received Synchron's device on July 6 at a hospital in New York. The device promises patients the ability to control and click with their computer's mouse. With that simple movement, they might be able to text their doctor, shop online, or send an email. Of course, the digital world has already infiltrated every aspect of modern human existence, providing a variety of services, but you must use your fingers to use them," Oxley explains. After all of the attention paid to Elon Musk's B-side company Neuralink, he'd be forgiven for thinking the technology is a game-changer. It has, however, been around for several decades. What do you think of Elon Musk's implant starting with human trials? Does it sound safe to you? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more.